Ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, respected speakers, welcome to ARIC 2021 JEDA conference. During these two days, we are going to speak about rankings and their effects on community and society. ARIC 2021 conference has been organized by ARIC Observatory on Academic Ranking and Excellence in partnership with King Abdulaziz University in JEDA, Saudi Arabia. Regretfully, we still cannot welcome you personally at the conference, but however, we are lucky to have the technology that allows us to see each other, even at a distance, and discuss important issues live. My name is Julia Lisic, and I'm privileged to be the host of IREC 2021 conference. Well, let us begin. I will now gladly give the floor to the co-organizers of the conference to start it. Good morning, Mr. President. I believe it is morning in Brazil, isn't it? Good morning, Julia. Yes, it's morning in Brazil. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for the hard work you've been doing and your team for us to have this conference here. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words, and I'm gladly give the floor to you now to open the conference. Thank you, Julia. Well, first, I would like to thank you, all of you, for being here with us in this ARDAG 2021 conference. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, be together face to face, but as Julia said, the technology now allows us to be together, even at a distance. So, Thank you all. We have uh, more than uh, 215 people registered. Thank you, you all, for more than uh, 55 countries. So it's a great pleasure for us to have you here in those two days to discuss about uh, higher education quality, rankings, society, and so on. Dear Vice President Abdomini Al Hayani, it's a great honor for IREG to have King Abdulaziz University as a partner in this conference. I am a witness of the hard work and the progress that King Abdulaziz University has made in the quality of research and teaching in the last years. And even more important is that the research that uh, King Abdulaziz University is doing has been have a great impact on society and community of Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Despite of uh, the great number of international partnerships that King Abdulaziz University, it's important to stress that most of its research has been done by its own academic. Therefore, it's not surprising the raising position of King Abdulaziz University in the most important global rankings in the world. Thank you again for being a partner of IREG in this important event. Dear participants, as you are too aware, we are experiencing a crisis like no other. This crisis has affected all universities around the world. Almost 22 million undergraduate and graduate students have been affected. Universities, have to move from face to face to online learning almost overnight. Research activities and internationalization were also hardly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. This was and this still is truly a global crisis. The COVID-19 virus does not stop at borders. For this reason, Cooperation between universities, countries, were so important to fight the virus. For sure, it's now time to increase even more universities' collaboration, university technology use, and 
university innovation. The speakers in this conference are placed to debate and highlight the key themes, trends, and challenges for higher education during and after the pandemic. Especially interesting will be to learn the priorities and developments from different universities and hunkers. In this conference, we are going to discuss how to measure quality in distance learning as the experience obtained by higher education institutions in distance learning seem to be a great opportunity to rethink our teaching and learning environment after pandemic time. I am very proud that TIREG has been a strong partner of its member and universities and hunkers around the world to discuss not just about rankings, not just about universities, but the impacts that uh, hunker, the rankings and the universities have on society and community. We know that uh, what rankings do is to show, at least to, to know that the university has been doing a, a, a nice work, a good work, it's improving because it has number you can compare so you can work on your own university to improve your teaching and learning environment. I keep saying that uh, it's not a question not to love or to hate hunkers or rankings, but it's a matter of to have a global system of high quality universities. And that's what TIREG does together with uh, its member, with universities and with hunkers. So I wish you all a great conference. Thank you again for being here with us. Thank you once again, Mr. President. And now I'm about to give the floor to Professor Abdul Monem Al Hayani, Vice President of King Abdulaziz University, who will speak on behalf of the President of King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah. Uh, thank you so much, actually, for uh, giving us the opportunity uh, to be with you. Actually, today it is uh, our pleasure and honor at King Abdullah University to be part of uh, this wonderful community, this wonderful group, the IREG Observatory Group. Uh, uh, I'd like actually to start this speech by uh, welcoming everyone actually to this conference and uh, uh, insisting on the point that's been just delivered by uh, Mr. President uh, uh, Professor Costa about the importance of being together actually as one community to learn from each other. Uh, I believe uh, this wonderful community, the IREG, the International uh, Ranking Expert Group, uh, is giving at least King Abdul University a wonderful opportunity uh, to learn from everyone actually in this community and to improve uh, as we go. Uh, the Saudi universities, in fact, uh, have witnessed an immense development and progress in terms of ranking and, of course, community impact of this kind of ranking locally, regionally, and globally. Uh, of course, uh, this has been competently guided by uh, the Saudi Vision 2030 in, in, in our countries, the Kingdom of Saudi, Saudi Arabia. The Saudi universities uh, and their uh, partnership uh, have contributed to a vibrant and uh, prosperous uh, society. Uh, of course, ongoing planning and careful direction are needed to fully achieve uh, our aspirations to fulfill our societal, regional and international duties for peaceful and prosperous, prosperous future. Uh, we are so proud to be part of this community and to be part of this conference and uh, to be a partner actually of this uh, global uh, society that we are so proud of being part of this society. Uh, it is, of course, uh, the responsibility of university governance to improve the quality of education, relying uh, on the guidance of 
uh, our wise leaders uh, and of course the different ministries of, of education uh, that always drive this kind of motivation and movement. Uh, it is uh, our pleasure and honor and uh, on behalf of uh, His Highesty, Professor Abdurrahman Ryubi, the president of King Abdul's University, I'd like actually to uh, end up this speech by wishing everyone a wonderful conference and uh, of course uh, uh, extending our invitation to a face-to-face -face, uh, encounter, to, fa to a face-to-face -face, uh, conference, whenever actually the situation is allowing in the near future and wishing uh, this pandemic uh, will, will finish soon and we can of course uh, congregate together and uh, uh, having shaking hands with each other. Thank you so much actually for giving us the opportunity and wishing everyone a wonderful IREG Conference 2021. Thank you so much. Located in the western coastal city of Jeddah in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, King Abdulaziz University, KAU, is recognized as a prestigious and remarkable institution with unique professional disciplines and specializations. It was founded in 1967 as the first private institution in the kingdom and was later converted to a public university. The university is known as a beacon of knowledge, a tradition of rich diversity, curricular comprehensiveness, professional excellence, unique specializations, ethical convictions, pioneering development, inventiveness, scientific diversity, applied research, and collaborations for the advancement of society. It has witnessed tremendous quantitative and qualitative progress in terms of enrollment, diversity of academic programs in both social and natural sciences. As a result, the university is now a global academic base and a crucial resource for high-class education. Currently, the university offers more than 185 masters and PhD programs in over 40 colleges. More than 200 institutions and research centers, highly qualified staff and state-of-the-art technologies have enabled KAU to attain a catalog of international accreditations for over 80 of its academic programs. To conclude, King Abdulaziz University faces formidable challenges due to focus on total quality, information and communication technologies, prolific developments, globalization, competitiveness and increasing expectations of its role in the knowledge-based society. We believe we are capable of rising to these challenges and shifting and reconstructing to achieve desired ends. <laughs>